Yeah. So, uh, dear colleague and friends, uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizer for the kindest arrangement, which allowed me to make an online presentation because recently, so the health situation of my father is not so good. I'm not allowed to leave him alone. So, yeah, okay. So, I mean, uh, in the following, I will give uh, an, a brief overview uh, on the quantum foundation and the quantum information. So before uh, my talk, I would like first and again congratulate and his three pioneer, Alan Archpack and John Glauser and Anton Zillinger for winning the Nobel Prize in Physics uh, last year and for their an experimental contribution within tank photon establishing violation of bearing quality and the pioneering quantum information science. So this is a very inspiring for the whole quantum community. So actually I also am delighted to see in the scientific background on the Nobel Prize uh, in Physics 2020, many work that are accomplished by Anton's group uh, while I was studying in Ocha, I was also introduced, including our first uh, demonstration of quantum teleportation and entangled swapping, and the first multi-photon uh, uh, entangled state, and also the verification of the GHZ serum to reveal the quantum non-locality. And also, and actually some of the results from my group in China were also introduced for example, including the satellite ground QKD and the ground to satellite quantum teleportation and the demonstration of the divine independent QKD and so on. Uh, so to show how their work reveals the essence of quantum world and pioneers quantum information science, I would like to first make a brief introduction on the quantum superposition uh, principle. As we all know in our everyday life, a cat can only either be in life or dead state. However, according to quantum superposition principle, a cat in the quantum world can even be in a uh, in the coherent superposition of a life and a dead state. So when we apply superposition principle to multi-party system, we are led to the consumption of quantum entanglement. So for example, two cat in the quantum world um, can even be in the coherent superposition of alive, alive, and dead, dead state. This implies if we perform a measurement onto one of the two cat and is found to be alive, then the second cat will, uh, uh, will simultaneously collapse into the alive state, no matter how far away they are separated. So Einstein, call such a phenomenon as a spook action at a distance. So physically, any two level system can be used as a realization of a qubit. And for example, we can explore the two polarization state of a single photon to encode one bit of information. Then for a system uh, consisting of two photons, they can be in one of the following four uh, bell state, the so so-called maximally entangled state. So the entanglement, they always have the perfect correlation. So for a maximally uh, entangled photon pair and exploiting the perfect correlation and of measurement outcome of particle A and particle B, one can actually precisely predict the measurement result, for example, on particle B, according to the measurement result on particle A, even the two measurement are space likely separated and vice versa. Uh, since Einstein believes the outcome of a measurement cannot depend on any action in space like separate region, so he concludes the outcome of a measurement is determined prior to and independent of the measurement and of the measurement. So this is a seemingly quite reasonable, uh, quite reasonable assumption of local reason. However, as a contrast, quantum mechanics predicts initially the so individual state of two entangled particles 
so the so initial state are not identified then the measurement outcome on particle a will not only determine a state but also the state of particle b uh, immediately so for this reason in 1935 and Einstein, Polsky, Lawson published a famous paper questioning the completeness of quantum mechanics due to a theory support uh, and such as book action at distance. Since both the local reason and the quantum mechanics can explain the perfect correlation revealed by entangled state, so at that time, one does not know how to experimentally test which theory or which consumption is correct. So the argument remains at the philosoph uh, philosophical level for about 30 years. So in 1964, John Bell proposed an experimental testable inequality, the so-called Bell inequality, by constructing an observable from the measurement result of two uh, particle in tank state. So if the measurement outcome on each individual particle are, pre are predetermined as asserted by Einstein's local reason, then according to Bell's deduction, so the maximum value of this quantity uh, is two. However, according to quantum mechanics, the measurement outcome on each individual particle are not identified initially, then the maximum value of this quantity can reach two square root of two. So actually, as pointed out by uh, Born and Aharonov in 1957, uh, actually before the Bell theorem, quantum entanglement was already created in laboratory uh, via observation of the angular uh, correlation uh, by a Chinese female scientist, Chen Xiongwu, who is famous for her experiments on verification of parity uh, non-conservation. So uh, in 1972, and Friedman and John Clauser first observed violation of bio inequality uh, with polarization in tank photon pair from atomic cascade. However, in these experiments, uh, the two measurement psi are not space-like uh, separated. Therefore, with the help of a classic communication between two sides, one can actually mimic the violation event, uh, so the violation, even without invoking any quantum entanglement. So in 1982, in 1982, uh, Alan Ashpack and his colleague and using uh, and used the fastest switch uh, controlled by preset called the periodic signal uh, to ensure the measurement process are space-like separated while still fail to address uh, the locality and the detection loophole. So in 1998, uh, tailings group closed the local loophole using fast switch controlled by random number generator. So in 2001, and the David Winland group closed detection loophole with entangled iron. So, and uh, and and almost eight years ago, yeah, or I mean, and uh, uh, Lorna mm. Hanson, Anton Zeling, and the CUNS group closed both locality and detection loophole. And all the previous experiments well confirmed the correctness of uh, quantum mechanics while still. Uh, with some loophole, uh, such as the freedom of choice loophole and the collapse local loophole, that need to be addressed further in future experiments. Uh, yeah, as pointed out by Professor Kent and others. So as a violation of bell equality actually imply the quantum world is intrinsically random. This is because uh, for intense state, before the measurement even got, does not know what the measurement result will be. So an immediate application of quantum entanglement is in device-independent quantum random number generation, by which true random number can be generated via violation 
of bio inequality, even with suspect device. So the device dependent quantum random number generation could find uh, various application uh, in numerical modeling, artificial intelligence, and cryptography, and so on. So in 2018, um, um, as a, the device independent random number generation, which is uh, secure against classical and quantum anniversary, was the first report by us. So another an important application of bell theorem is entangled enabled secure uh, communication proposed by Arthur Eckhart in 91. So in his scheme, the perfect correlation of entanglement can be used to share a secret key between Alice and Bob. In the absence of even dropping, uh, unauthorized uh, yeah, so 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 the entanglement will not be disturbed. So the maximum value of bell inequality can reach two square root of two. But if there is a even dropping, then the unauthorized measurement leaves states of photon identified. So then finally, the uh, bell inequality, so the value of this number will uh, cannot exceed two. So very recently. Uh, device independent QKD uh, certified by Bell Theorem uh, were demonstrated independently by three, three group into uh, including ours. So from Oxford, from MPQ, and from uh, China. However, due to the difficulty of such experiment, so the secure distance and the key rate of device independent QKD at percent are very limited. It is still far, far away from practical application. So interestingly, besides its covery in quantum foundation from the test of quantum non-locality, physicists have developed groundbreaking technology for coherent manipulation of a quantum state. This consequently lead to the emerging quantum technology, quantum information processing. So why quantum communication uh, can ensure secure information exchange, quantum computation can greatly enhance the computing power. So as I just mentioned, quantum key distribution is the best known quantum communication protocol. And for example, one could also explore the BB84 protocol to implement single photon based quantum key distribution. So with the help of the shared secret key and the one-time path inclusion, one can actually achieve unconditional secure uh, communication. And also, and following up to ECHA 91 scheme, one can also implement entanglement-based quantum key distribution. So quantum teleportation is another interesting application of quantum communication, which is a way to transfer uh, quantum information from one particle to another without actually sending the particle itself. This is very much like the way to achieve Star Trek in science fiction, although nowadays it's impossible to teleport a person. It is visible to teleport various quantum states in a quantum network, which is the essential ingredient for scalable uh, or distributed quantum information processing for them for quantum computation and for distributed quantum network. So interestingly, the state of one particle of entangled pair can also be teleported. So for two entangled pair, four and one, two and three, if one performs a bell state measurement onto particle one and two, as in the teleportation protocol, then the two remote particle four and three uh, that are never interacted can be entangled. So this process is called as entanglement swapping, which plays an essential law in long distance quantum communication. So the first proof of uh, concept demonstration of QKD and the teleportation were done in 92 and 97 respectively. From here you can see, and the distance at that time were quite short 
both only about 30 centimeters. Therefore, early experiments put great effort to demonstrate corner communication with a longer distance, better stability, and high rate, both through fiber and a free space quantum channel. For instance, and in United Kingdom, and uh, uh, a thousand John Reality and their co work demonstrated QKD over 10 kilometer fiber, and Franson and Jacoba in United States implement a, a, a automated fiber based quantum key distribution system. And later, Nikola G. Seng Group in Geneva also demonstrated QKD over under lake fiber and also proposed plug and play structure to improve the QKD stability. And moreover, and Hughes Group in United States demonstrated QKD on the uh, a slow underground fiber over distance of 48 kilometers. So actually, by 2004, quantum key distribution in fiber already over 100 kilometers. So while people are quite happy, a bad thing happened. So, uh, however, uh, and it was found very soon, uh, uh, soon after those experiments, actually their series, uh, security, security loophole in all private QKD experiments due to the imperfection of the realistic device. As I will mention later, actually the security of a QKD has a deep connection with the violation of bail inequality. And for example, uh, in the 1992 experiment, the even chopper can distinguish with certainty and a zero or one, and um, uh, are chosen by sender by monitoring the noise difference caused by the POC cell. Uh, and uh, actually, one of the most serious loopholes is caused by imperfection, imperfect single photon source. Since there would be and occasionally, and because we do not have idea single photon source. So normally we explore the quasi single photon source as the uh, single photon source. So since there, will, since there would be occasionally two identical photon event in pulse of quasi single photon source, so then the so-called photon number sprint attack allows Eve to selectively suppress the single photon event and, uh, and split the two photo signal by keeping one copy for herself without being noticed by analysis and evolved. So due to this loophole, so the secure distance of QQD in all the formic elements uh, was less than uh, 10 kilometers. So if distance is so short, so then why we need quantum key distribution? So therefore, there are two major challenges towards large-scale secure quantum communication before we can finally promote any practical application. So first, we need to overcome the security loophole caused by imperfection of a realistic device. Second, we need to find a way to extend the distance. In fact, uh, due to the exponential photon loss and the coherence in quantum channel, and it is extremely difficult to achieve Corner communication over long distance. For example, yeah. and for a thousand kilometer commercial fiber, and even with a perfect 10 gigahertz single photon source and ideal detector, only 0.3 photon can be transmitted on average percentually. So we really need to find a good solution for these two problems. So therefore, in 2005, and inspired by a proposal uh, by Huang from uh, and from uh, Col uh, yeah from uh, 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 South Korea, and Xiangping Wang and uh, Hao Kuan Lu proposed the so-called decoy state quantum key distribution protocol. So by which one can solve the security loophole caused by non-ideal single photon source. So in two thousand seven. Uh, two independent team and including us implement the core state quantum key distribution over 100 kilometer fiber. So why people feel very happy 
So three years later, another serious loophole caused by imperfect single photon detector was found. And uh, in this and this is very much related to the detection loophole in the bell test, in the bell uh, in the violation of bell inequality. For example, uh, in this scenario, one can use uh, specially uh, tailored strong light to blind and the single photon detector. Thus, the detect can only respond when the light intensity is greater than a threshold I. Yeah. So if then if the job is sending a light pulse with intensity, uh, for example, 1.6 I, uh, and uh, as shown in this figure, and the detect can only click when Bob's polarization measurement basis is the same uh, as the input light. And for example, in this case, it is seen, and we will receive uh, and, uh, and a signal or click. But for this case, we will have no click. So in this way, and the event dropper can fully control our detector and know all the key information. So interestingly, and exploiting the technology of uh, multi photo interferometry in the GHZ Z state uh, um, experiment. So, uh, so, the, so the scheme of measurement device independent QQD and, uh, was proposed in 2012 by Hao Kuan Lu. So, with the help of MDI QQD protocol and the system can be naturally immune to any attack um, uh, on detection. So in this protocol, Alice and Bob and uh, independently send a single photon with a random polarization uh, to implement uh, and implement a bell state a measurement at some intermediate measurement station. Then the log key can be created only if Alice's and Bob's polarization choice are um, and different due to the two photon interference. Because if the polarization are the same, then the two photons will go to the same output, then we will see no coincidence rate. So 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 therefore, and we so the log key can be created only if Alice and Bob's polarization choice are different. So since the measurement only reveal uh, the correlation information of position state. So even the measurement station is fully controlled by Eve and she gains no information of the key. So to realize MDI QKD, uh, one needs to achieve high precision interference between two remote independent photon source. So in our experiments, and we develop high precision uh, timing synchronization technology, so that the relative time jet after the laser beam passed through a hundred kilometer fiber, so the so the relative time jet is can be controlled less than ten picosecond. So in two thousand sixteen, and we implemented the first experimental demonstration of MDI QQD with a fifty uh, kilometer. Meanwhile, and uh, a group that time in Kagaria and also demonstrated the visibility of a two photon interference between two remote independent laser. So by 2016, by optimizing the, and the protocol uh, and increasing uh, the repetition rate and so on, we already extend the secure distance to the order of 400 kilometers. So one may naturally ask whether it possible to further exceed the uh, 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 to exceed the limit to implement long distance longer distance quantum key distribution, so to do so, and a few years ago, and the twin field uh, MDI QKD scheme uh, based on single photon interference was proposed. So based on and uh, this scheme and uh, several group including us and have realized twin field. MDI QKD in coiled fiber at a length of uh, 500 kilometer. So, and uh, however, in order to extend and such a thing to the field of fiber, and uh, 
uh, one of the huge technological challenge is to make sure and uh, the time jet could be should be on the order of sub a wavelength of the single photon. So by developing ultra precise frequency transferring, and we managed to lock two remote laser uh, uh, to achieve instability at the order of uh, 10 to minus 18 at uh, 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 10,000 a second and suppress the phase fluctuation between two independent lasers separated by 100 of kilometer to less than 100 nanometer. So with all this effort, we have extended distance uh, in the field of fiber to uh, 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 500 kilometers. So very recently, so distance has been extended to, uh, 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 I think that, yeah, we, we have just have work uh, uh, accepted by a few letter. It's already an over 1,000 kilometer. So with all this development, so combine uh, MDIQKD and the controllable uh, do-it-yourself light source, as Charles Burnett pointed out. So uh, in MDIQKD, Eve's untrusted device remains outside Alice and Bob's trusted enclosure. They need only trust themselves not to have uh, uh, inadvertently create a side channel to Eve through incompetent design of their D DIY light source. So therefore, information threatening secure QKD with a realistic device can be approached uh, properly. So for yeah, for more details, and you can see our and recent review uh, and article. So at the present, as I just mentioned, the longest QKD distance in field five is 500 kilometer, and for teleportation on the ground is about 100 kilometer. So how to extend the common communication distance further after we properly solving the security problem? So one of the possible problems for large scale quantum communication is to explore the quantum repeater. So the central idea of quantum repeater is to solve the pho photon loss problem via entanglement swapping and to solve the decoherence problem via entanglement purification. Entanglement purification is a way to distill a subset uh, of high entangled state from a large set of less intense state. So experimentally, it imposed three major requirements. So in tank swapping with high precision, in tank purification uh, with high precision, and the quantum memory and with high performance. So the first entanglement swapping experiments were done already uh, 25 years ago. And in 2003, we also implement a high fault tolerant, uh, high precision intense swapping parliament via uh, a four photon interferometer. So, for to achieve intense purification, uh, we face a difficulty. So, the original intense purification scheme requires C naught operation between independent photon, which is extremely hard for photon due to the absence of strong coupling between individual photons. So in 2001, and we proposed a visible skin uh, with lean optics by which the required nonlinearity can be effectively induced by post selection. So later in 2003, and we managed to experimentally demonstrate high precision entanglement swapping. So now the final element is the so-called quantum memory. So why we need a, a quantum memory? It is because without quantum memory, the cost of resource in multi-stage realization uh, of quantum repeater is proportional to one over P to the power of two M, where P is, uh, uh, and, uh, is a probability of emitting entangled photon pair in each experimental run. Such a scheme is not a scalable one. So however, 
if we know then the photon pair is created and we can store them on the mind, then I mean after each station we already have uh, uh, an intense photon pair, then we perform intense swapping elements, then the total cost to implement intense purification and swapping is proportional to one over p square. So in this way, we can achieve efficient intent distribution between different location and the realized scalable quantum network. So in 2001, and the Lumin Duan and his colleague proposed a single photon quantum repeater skin. In the skin, an ultra high phase stability on the order of subwavelengths after propagation distance of a few hundred kilometers is required. Uh, and which was difficult at that time. So therefore, in 2007, and we propose a theoretical skin, and in 2008, and we experimentally and rely a robust quantum repeater skin, which only require <coughs> suitability on the order of a few tens of centimeters by making using of two laser cooled atom example, which are connected through a few hundred meter fiber. So here I would like to mention uh, so some other uh, some other approach from the group of Kimbo in Kartek and Kuzmish, uh, Lukin and Harris, Portek and so on and so on. So it is important to mention in order to enable long distance quantum repeater. So the storage time and it must be long enough to ensure every node create an entangled pair, while the storage quantum state must be converted into photonic excitation with sufficient high efficiency to establish remote entanglement. However, in our 2008 experiments, so the lifetime at that time is only about one microsecond and the retrieval efficiency is only about 35%. So as shown in this figure, so this is our result in 2008. So this implies the lifetime has to be improved by eight order of magnitude in order to fulfill the requirement of a 500 kilometer quantum repeater. So since then, many experimental effort has been uh, carried out including employ the clock state, uh, which is incentive to magnetic field and using a ring cavity to increase the true efficiency and explore the uh, optical lattice confinement to suppress atomic collision induced coherence. So after an almost 10 years effort, and in 2016, we managed to prolong the lifetime of our quantum memory to a few hundred milliseconds while still with high retrieval efficiency. So in principle, such a parameter already good enough to support quantum repeater, which can enable quantum communication at a distance of 500 kilometers. So, and actually, because we need to send our light through fiber, so to connect quantum memory node with the fiber, we also need to shift the atomic wavelength, and because our memory wavelength is about 800 nanometer to telecom wavelength. So, and uh, with the help of, uh, as, it, uh, as it developed frequency conversion technology, we successfully achieved quantum entanglement between uh, remote quantum memory over long distance. So, however, it is foreseen a practical quantum repeater at a thousand kilometer scale might still need uh, 10 more years. So, and you can see we start to uh, work on the solution to this problem to extend uh, uh, a quantum communication distance already in 1998. But after almost 24 years, we still 10 years and away to a final solution. So therefore, and already, and in 2002, and we start to consider another and uh, promising solution. So uh, through uh, a satellite in space, 
to achieve global scale quantum key distribution. So the satellite to ground connection has a significant reduced photon loss. This is because the effect the, the effective thickness of the vertical atmosphere is only about 10 kilometers of the uh, horizontal atmosphere. So most of the photon propagation path is in empty space, which is very small absorption and turbulence. So since 2003, we have spent more than a decade in performing systematic ground uh, and ground test for the satellite-based quantum communication. So in 2004, uh, we did the first ground test on distribution of entanglement over 13 kilometer in Hefei city for the first time well beyond the effective thickness of the atmosphere. So in 2011, we demonstrated both entanglement distribution and the quantum teleportation uh, in Qinghai Lake over 100 kilometer free space, which verify uh, the visibility of quantum communication uh, and even under situation with a high loss uh, satellite ground channel. So in 2012, we use the balloon to mimic all the uh, condition of the satellite and uh, 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 and uh, uh, to under very similar condition of uh, rapid motion, vibration, and the random movement of the satellite and turbulence and high loss channel. So in this experiment, we uh, show it's possible to overcome all demand condition for a low orbital ground to satellite quantum key distribution. So through all these ground basic experiments, we have mastered the key technology of quantum communication uh, with low orbital satellite, including high precision acquiring, pointing, and tracking technology, and also achieve near diffraction limit to far field divergent angle. And also we achieve high precision synchronization and so on. And also we have achieved arch high energy resolution. So by which one can in principle detect a single match fire lighting it on the moon. So with all this development, after almost 14 years effort, so in 2016, August, and the first quantum satellite was successfully launched. So the, yeah, so the missile satellite has three major scientific missions. The first one is to achieve quantum key distribution um, uh, between satellite and ground station at a thousand kilometer scale. So in the experiment, the observed final key rate is about 1000 uh, kilohertz, which is already 20 order of magnitude high than using the traditional fiber at the 1,200 kilometer uh, distance. So the second mission is to achieve satellite basic entanglement distribution between two uh, and ground station, which are separated with a distance of 1,200 kilometers. So in the second experiment, and we managed to perform the first base scale test of spook action uh, at a distance under strict Einstein locality condition. So in the third mission, we managed to achieve quantum teleportation from ground to satellite over 1,400 kilometers. So later, using the satellite as a trusted relay, uh, intercontinental quantum key distribution between Beijing and uh, Vienna uh, has also been realized. So recently, we are collaborating with our colleagues in, uh, uh, in Italy, India, and uh, Calgary, and uh, South Africa to verify the vis visibility of achieving global quantum communication. So, so one may ask, so is there any way to achieve QKD between two distant parties on Earth without relay on a trust, trusted relay? So actually, following R2 Eckhart 91 protocol, and uh, even the satellite is controlled by your enemy, the security of QKD 
can still be ensured by verification of quantum entanglement. So following uh, ECHAD 91 protocol in 2020, and we have, we have implemented an experiment of entanglement-based quantum key distribution between two ground stations, which are separated by a distance of 1,120 kilometer. In this experiment, so the observed quantum beta rate so is still very lower, but with the recent uh, improved entanglement source up to 10,000 bit per orbital could be achieved in the near future. So the satellite based technology also open a new avenue for, on, uh, for investigating the fundamental physics at the interface of quantum physics and gravity. For example, the so-called event formalism model predict the gravitational induced decorrelation of a time and entanglement in exotic space. So in 2019, and we use Smithsonian satellite to perform a, a experiment to test the event formalism model. Our, experiment, our experimental results conclusively include the prediction of a strong version of the event formalism model. So I still yeah, have uh, 10 minutes and left. Uh, I will mention a little bit our activity in quantum computation. So quantum computation and use quantum bit to encode information and which can be in a coherent superposition and the information represented by them can be uh, processed in parallel. Therefore, it can uh, result in exponential speed up in, in computation in principle. So one of the most famous quantum algorithm is a short, short factorizing algorithm by which one can efficiently factorize large number and break public key increment system. So the superpower of quantum computation can also be used to greatly speed up such as the weather forecast, financial analysis and drug design and yeah, upon the realization of a fully functional quantum computer. However, given the huge technical challenge, it will still take quite a while before we can realize a fully functional quantum computer. So to ensure a healthy development of quantum computational research, so our scientific community has set three stage goal toward the ultimate realization of a practical quantum computer. So the first one is called it as quantum computational advantage, which means the speed up of quantum computation is so overwhelmingly huge, such that no classical computer can perform the same task in the reasonable amount of time and is unlikely overturned by improvement of a classic algorithm or hardware improvement. So the second one is to construct a quantum simulator to efficiently mimic the evolution of a complex quantum system, such as a mechanism of high temperature superconducting and the quantum Hall effect and so on. So the third and the final one is to realize universal and programmable quantum computer with the help of quantum error correction. Here I would like to mention one interesting point. So quantum computation advantage is actually an important milestone in quantum computation because it can show the essential difference between classical and quantum physics. So just like using the Bell experiment to refute, to refute Einstein's local reason, Establishing quantum computation advantage by using entanglement as a valuable resource would refute the extended church tooling thesis, which states classic computer can simulate the computational power of any physical process with polynomial overhead. So this is in and for another time we can show the effective difference between classical physics and quantum physics. And for me, probably is even more 
deeper in some sense than the bell theorem. So how to do that? So physically, there are many candidates of quantum system uh, to implement quantum computation, such as photon, superconducting system, and a cold atom, and so on. And also, uh, and uh, uh, MV center, and blah, blah. So, so I mean, and actually, in 2019, and Google first announced quantum competition advantage with the 53 superconducting qubit processor, so Sycamore, and so and the rest of the study has shown that, so so the one million uncolored sample with a higher XBE and score can be generated in a few ten seconds on classic computer, yeah. So and uh, and which is very similar for the history of bell in quality violation. So because we need to close the loophole one by one. So however, in quantum computation, uh, in superconductor quantum, quantum computation, very recently, we have realized and the quantum work on the programmable two-dimensional 62 qubit superconducting processor. And then we upgrade this system to a 66 qubit superconducting uh, processor and realize a strong quantum combination advantage via random circuit sampling. So the achieved sampling task is about six order of magnitude more difficult than that of Sycamore. Moreover, and uh, even strong quantum computation advantage can be implemented on the photonic system. So using photons in 2020, we realized the Gaussian sampling machine Jiuzhan, showing that Strong quantum computation, showing strong quantum computation advantage. So most recently, we already uh, and uh, uh, and upgrade our system to more than two hundred fifty detected photon, and which uh, shows the advantage ratio was enlarged to uh, fifteen order magnitude than nowadays best quantum computer. Okay. So during the time limitation, I will and uh, ju and just jump to uh, my uh, and future uh, uh, a prospect. Yeah. So in the future, and it's foreseen, and to establish a global content communication network and the content internet by combining metropolitan uh, content communication network and intercity content communication connected by quantum repeater and long distance quantum communication and uh, uh, with quantum satellite. So the five basic metropolitan network already quite mature and practical uh, for quantum repeater and, and uh, it is packed to support quantum communication at a distance of thousand kilometer in about 10 years as to Satellite-based quantum communication. There are still several technological challenges need to be overcome. For example, as a low-orbital satellite, misuse cannot 